We come to you today to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. We come to plead with your soul and that you would move with urgency to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Many people are doing drugs, selling drugs, and living how they want to live, but many people are not preparing themselves to meet God. Many people are going through life without preparing themselves to meet their maker. I come to you today to tell you to repent and, and, and prepare yourself to meet God himself, my friends. We come to bring life. We come to bring light. We come to bring hope because the one that we're preaching about, he is the one that has supplied the only thing that he can supply, and that is life. Amen. Amen. Many people are looking for their next high or their own life or uh, their own type of satisfaction and all those things, but none of those things satisfy, my friends. This is why people continue to do the things that they want to do. This is why people continue to do whatever they want to do without realizing that Christ is really the solution. Amen. Amen. We're pleading with your soul today. And no, we won't be out here all night. We're going to go to our next spot and preach, but the reality is, is that there is life through Jesus Christ through the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We're only hoping that you would turn, we're only hoping that you would repent and that you would turn to Jesus Christ. Thank God, thank God that, that people are able to still repent today. Thank God as you repent and you turn from your sin and you turn to the living God, that's good news, my friends. Amen, amen. Because God can be truly justified to not allow you to repent, for you to be dead in your sins, but he's made it, he's made a way for people to repent from their sin, to turn to the living God, to be in their arm, to be in his arms. You don't, have to ex you don't have to experience the full wrath of God. Amen. You can experience both of his arms grabbing you while you're dark. Amen. While you choose your sin rather than choosing your master, rather than choosing your creator, God himself. Amen. You may be in a hopeless situation today. You may feel like life is, is pointless. You may feel like life is meaningless. You may feel like the way that I'm living, it doesn't matter. Even if I were to die, I wouldn't have any family members that would call me or reach out to me. You know, life doesn't matter anyway. I want to tell you that your life does matter. Yes, it does. Amen. Your life does matter. There's a reason why you are listening to this message today. There's a reason why you're walking down the street or driving down the street or standing or sitting today listening to a preacher tell you, telling you about God. I'm telling you today that there is hope through Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, it is. I'm telling you today, there is mercy at the cross of Jesus Christ. You know, you know, this is a sad thing, but there's some, there's some believers in the church, they would say, what you're doing is, uh, you're wasting your time. But my thing is, is that we actually probably don't really believe in the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't just say that I believe it, but I believe it because I have action behind my belief. And that is true belief. That is true faith. That is not just me saying that I have faith in God. You'll see my actions that show you that I have faith in God.